Flemish is an exhibition of paintings from Germany, the United States, and Great Britain produced since World War II. Paint has a particular capacity to evoke the viscera, the muscles, all of those things that are contained within. Think about these works of art as windows onto history. They capture the feelings that people had that arise from specific events of the latter part of the 20th century on into the 21st century. Many British artists think of paint as a kind of human paste. It enables them to capture the physical qualities of the body in a very believable way. But they're also interested in using this human paste to reveal something of the psychological character of the subject and also to reveal something of their own psychological character. Jenny Savile is very interested in plastic surgery in the way that plastic surgeons help women overcome the social concerns about their appearances. The plastic surgeons call themselves Michelangelo's of the flesh. And so she's trying to capture the artistry in plastic surgery while commenting on the way that women feel inadequate in today's society. The idea of paint as flesh goes all the way back to the Renaissance. De Kooning is very, very interested in participating in this historical continuum. For de Kooning and for many of these artists, the, the subject, the figure of the woman was an especial inspiration. He makes the figure almost disappear in a swirling, sweeping series of gestures. The foreground becomes the background, the inside becomes the outside. The artists in this gallery are associated with a movement known as Neo-Expressionism that was very popular in the 1980s. And Vasilitz is the quintessential non-conformist. What he thinks the artist's role is, is to be a constant irritant. And the symbol for that opposition is the ideology of gravity, the ideology of painting, the tradition of having a person sitting in a chair right side up. A portrait reveals more than simply the likeness of the person. This brilliantly colored painting is by Puerto Rican artist Arnaldo Rocha Rebel. It is a self-portrait and it shows us what he looks like, but it also is a political statement indicating the plight of Puerto Ricans as they struggle to survive. The title of the painting is We Have to Eat. The official did say that when I came to Rome, my father's death came with me. The way that the artist has handled the skin, the flesh tones, it's absolutely haunting the, the way that he has captured the luminosity, the almost parchment-like quality of an elderly person. Daniel Richter's Dwiesen is a great example. The painting shows the flesh having melted away from these spectral figures. We don't know what's going on. Are they at a rock concert? Are they ghosts from the past? Are they nighttime beings who are invading our space? And he doesn't tell us. He wants us to think that they might be all of these things.